Want to support the channel? Go check out my Patreon. There's perks like access to videos early and plenty more rewards. Every contribution is appreciated as it keeps me making great content for you guys. For more information, go to patreon.com slash Macwell. Tottenham. Early on into this one, it's Tottenham with a chance through Deli Alley as he just slips past Wolfram and Didi, has a shot, it's saved by Strakosha, but what's this? Yes, it's Soyuncu giving up once again another penalty. And Harry Kane versus Thomas Strakosha. Luckily enough, we didn't have Harry Kane, we had Adamola Kane. Now it's Leicester City's chance to make something. It's Jamie Vardy out to Harvey Barnes on the left wing, and Harvey Barnes trying to find someone to cross to. He tries to cut inside, trying to find someone in the middle, still can't, but then he brings it down to Wolfram and Didi, and Didi tries one outside the box, but it's blocked by the defender. 49 minutes played, another chance for Leicester City, it's Harvey Barnes, as he tries to get one to Yuri Tielemans, is blocked, but then it falls to Jamie Vardy, now to Wolverine Didi, out to Harvey Barnes, a great pass to Cengiz Sundar, and he misses it well wide. First turn to develop an attack of their own, it's Deli Alley, but he's denied by Wolverine Didi, now it falls to Yuri Tielemans, back to Wolverine Didi, he brings this one down to James Madison, Madison with a great ball to Harvey Barnes, right on the edge of the box, Harvey Barnes just drops this one to Jamie Vardy, and Vardy hits the post. Crystal Palace. Last time we faced Crystal Palace, it was an absolute drubbing of them. 7-0 we beat them at home, but it's James Madison. Alexander Izak takes his old time and just rolls it into the net. 1-0 to Leicester City, just like that. Chance again for Leicester City is Alexander Izak on the wing this time as he brings this one to James Madison. Madison then gets a great ball to Wolfram Ndidi, and Ndidi just rolls that one in, and it's 2-0 to Leicester City. It's just too simple. 65 minutes in, it's Timothy the Castagna now as he brings this one to Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes just blazes right past the first defender, gets around the second, crosses this one in, and it's James Glover just pinching that one into the back of the net. James Glover is starting to really impress just a tad more this season. And then 87 minutes, it's a break for Leicester City. It's Dennis Pratt subbed off the bench. He gets a lovely ball to Daniel Ponce, the Sus King. And the Sus King, what's he gonna do with this one? Well, of course, he's just gonna finish that one, and it is 4 0, three points to our name. So here's the table as we go into the second half of the season. We are four points behind Liverpool. We've dropped a lot of points, and as you can see, that's our punishment for it. But still, we face Liverpool actually in January, so the title race is absolutely still alive. But to round off the top six, it's Liverpool, of course, your league leaders. Then us in second. Manchester United, three points behind us. Also, Manchester City behind us by three points. Spurs in fifth with 43 points, and then Chelsea also with 43 points. Now it's time to defend our FA Cup. We're going to sum this one up because, well, it's West Brom, and it's the first round of the FA Cup. There was a bit of an issue when Castagna scored an own goal, but we come back through a brace from Alexander Izak, a fantastic finish his second goal was, and we had an extra goal from the Sus King himself, Daniel Potence. Everton. 41 minutes into this one, Leicester City on the attack, it's Wilfred Ndidi to Jamie Vardy, Vardy gets this one to Ndidi, Ndidi with a lovely pass, a little pick out to James Madison, and believe it or not, that's actually James Madison's first goal of the Premier League season. And then into the second half, it's Wilfred Ndidi to Yuri T. Tielemans. Now it's to Cengiz Sundar on the wing. He passes it down to Jamie Vardy to Wilfred and Didi. And Didi then picks out Jamie Vardy with a beautiful ball. And it's 2-0 to Leicester City and our first three points of the new year. Arsenal. Early into this one, James Madison taking the corner, but it's headed out by the Arsenal defender. Then it's cleared out even more, but it falls to Daniel Potence. Now Yuri Tielemans. He gets this one to Wilfred and Didi. And Didi with a great pass to Cengiz Sundar. He gets around one defender, luckily enough. Drops it to James Madison, who just blasts one in between three defenders defenders threading the needle and he makes it 1-0 to Leicester City in the Emirates just like that. 25 minutes in, Arsenal on the attack, but it's Wilfer and Didi once again saying, no, you cannot ever get past this man, and it's Jamie Vardy now receiving it from Wilfer and Didi, then he brings it to James Masson. Masson with a lovely pass to Jamie Vardy, and it's in the back of the net, 2-0 to Leicester City, it's just too simple against Arsenal once again, and it's the first half still, and Leicester City are just dominating Arsenal. I mean, this is nothing new, we've done this plenty of times, but it's Daniel Potence, now to Jamie Vardy, Yuri Tielemans, flips this one to Cengiz Sundar. It's a fantastic little finish by Cengiz Sundar. Just the first time shot, 3-0 to Leicester City, and another 3 points. And like I said in the previous table review, we would have another chance against Liverpool, and here it is. But before we go into that, here is a look at the table. It is still a 4-point gap, but 
we can possibly close it if we get a result. And we really need a result. If we lose or even draw against Liverpool, I think it's over. So we return to King Power Stadium against Liverpool. Last time we were here, it didn't end up well. So can we redeem ourselves of past errors? Liverpool on the offensive through Sadio Mane. It's Robertson. Gets a great ball to Mo Salah. He crosses this one, but it's headed out by Lucas Hernandez. And now it falls to Jamie Vardy. Vardy out to Yuri Tielemans. Tielemans, he has some players to pass to, and he brings a lovely lob ball all the way to Harvey Barnes. And it's plenty of space for him to work with. And he just drops it down to James Madison. And James Madison puts us up 1-0 against Liverpool in quite possibly one of the most important matches of the season. Here come the Reds. 21 minutes in is Roberto Firmino with plenty of space to run into, but he brings it to Marino. And Marino has done some bits against us before, so we need him contained. But then it's Wendell out to Mo Salah with a great pass, and it's equalized here at King Power Stadium. Liverpool on the attack once again, and it's Fabinho passing this one to Mo Salah on the right wing. Mo Salah trying to find someone in the middle, but then he's dispossessed possessed by Lucas Hernandez, passing it to James Madison. Madison then turning the defender. is a lot of space to run into and he brings this one to Harvey Barnes and once again, it is Harvey Barnes starring against Liverpool. He just cuts, brings a beautiful pass to James Madison and once again, James Madison scores, gets himself a brace and more importantly, our lead is restored. Both teams battling it out. It's Mo Salah for Liverpool. He gets this one to Roberto Firmino. Now to Fabinho. Fabinho back to Roberto Firmino as they link up and now Firmino trying to find someone. He gets a ball to Mo Salah, who crosses this one, and it's whiffed the first time. Cleared out, but then it's deflected off Fabinho, and we got very lucky there. Just moments later, it's Liverpool creating another little bit of rhythm to possibly find the back of the net. It's Wendell. He gets this one to Mo Salah. Mo Salah then brings this to... Uh, just hold, hold on one second. I gotta reconnect. Yep, there we go. Okay. Just resume the match. Anyways, it goes to Sadio Mane on the wing. Now Mane crosses this one in for Roberto Firmino. Gets a touch and then Wendell puts this one into the bottom right corner. And it's equalized once again for Liverpool. Leicester are desperate. They know they need more than just a draw in this match. And it's Ricardo Pereira. Now to Wilfred Ndidi. Back pass to James Masson. Links up with Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes then gets a good ball to James Masson. An even better one to Yuri Tielemans. A scuffle finds the feet of Harvey Barnes. And it is him again. Again, Harvey Barnes against Liverpool FC 3-2 at the King Power Stadium. And yes, we do win this one and we close the gap to just one point. Another match that crashes, so I had to sim this one. And luckily enough, it was just an FA Cup match and we also won. Daniel Podence and Adria Pedrosa scoring the goals against Oxford United. And now we face Fulham to end off the month of January. Estupinian leading this attack for Leicester City. He gets this ball to James Madison. Madison, no one covering him, so he's just going to take up all this space then bring it to Alexander Izak. Izak then back to James Madison. Madison then just waits a bit. He's a little patient, just gives it to Harvey Barnes. Simple as that. He slides it past the keeper. 1-0 to Leicester City, just like that. And the month of January just continues to prove that it is the James Madison show. Oh, he said the title. Guys, he said the title. 47 minutes played. It's Wilfer Ndidi with a great ball to Alexander Izak. He just draws in about two, three defenders, brings it to Yuri Tielemans all by himself, curls it into the net. 2-0 to Leicester City. A little bit later, a break for Leicester City through Cengiz Sunder as he tries to get around Anthony Robinson. It's not going to work out though, so he brings this one to Alexander Izak, and now Izak just draws in a couple defenders, brings it to Cengiz Sunder, and Sunder is just going to finish that one into the back of the net. I am currently commentating over this, while Adobe just wants to piss me off, so thank you Adobe. But Fulham with an opportunity here in the 77th minute, it is our boy, Kevin Lasagna, Venezia legend himself as he brings it to Reed, and now Reed gets this one to Onoma. Onoma back to Reed. Reed with a great little through ball to Kevin Lasagna, and I'm not even mad about that one. The legend himself, Kevin Lasagna, has scored against Leicester City. Honestly, I'm pretty honored to be scored against by Kevin Lasagna. And so, after the end of January, we've brought it back to just one point behind Liverpool. And that gives us an even better chance of overtaking them in the league. But we have to continue this form. We cannot choke anymore. Please, God, let's not choke again. And before we actually do get into the month of February, since it is the end of the January transfer window, we didn't make any transfers. Here's the squad. You thought it looked good in September? Look at it now. It is even better. 
Wolfer and Didi now 92 rated, by the way. I just want to point that out. And just all these players have exceeded their potential by so much. It's Stupinian being the lowest rated player, but trust me, he'll be up to an 84 or even 85 by the end of the season. I'm sure of it. And now, Burnley. Little chance developing for Leicester City. It's Alexander Isak creating the break. And now he brings this one to Takumi Minamino. Takumi Minamino just beats his defender and then leaves this one off for Alexander Isak. Not sure what Nick Pope was doing, but I will take a goal nonetheless. 1-0 to Leicester City. That like just. Halfway through this one, it's Chowdhury on the ball. He passes this to Alexander Izak, and Izak just turns the defender brilliantly and finds the back of the net again. 2-0 to Leicester City. And to finish off this one, it's Daniel Potence. He gets one to James Glover. Now James Glover with plenty of space to run into. He draws in a couple defenders, then finds Daniel Potence. The sus king gives that sus love back to the keeper, and it's 3-0 to Leicester City. And... I'm not even gonna say it, you know what I was gonna say. And so the Champions League returns and we are facing Inter Milan in the round of 16. Probably one of the more simpler teams, but of course, it's still Inter. We cannot underestimate them under any circumstances. And so, a return to the San Siro for the first time since the Venezia career mode. Corner for Inter Milan in the 10th minute, it's Eriksen on the ball as he gets this one to Thomas Muller. And now Muller tries to get around the defender, He's, he doesn't really do that, but he still holds onto the ball at least. And then he finds some space, brings it back to Lukaku on the wing, now to Eriksen with plenty of space, and he just curls that one into the net. Oh, not this again. After that, it was Inter just kind of holding back. It's James Masson leading this attack for Leicester City, though. It's Jamie Vardy on it. He passes it to Yuri Thielmans, tries to get it to James Masson, but it's dealt with by the Inter defender. Again, it's Leicester City. It's James Masson out to Yuri Thielmans. Thielmans with some space to run into. He gets a ball to Ricardo Pereira. He sees the run of Cengizun there, but that one is once again dealt with by the Inter defenders. Now, Ricardo Pereira leading attack for Leicester City as he brings it down to Cengizun there. Can Leicester City hold onto the ball for more than two seconds? Looks like they've done it, but let's see if they can go a little bit farther. Ricardo Pereira, no one going towards him. He just sees an open Harvey Barnes. Takes a heavy touch, though, and that's dealt with again by the Inter defense. Inter on the attack now through Jonathan David. He brings it to Brozovic. Now to Thomas Muller. Muller then gets this one to Jonathan David once again. Now Lukaku on the ball. Lukaku sees the run of Hakimi. Gets a great ball to him, but it's just cleaned up by Strakosha. Can Leicester City stop the struggle of just not being able to get to the final three? third of their own attack is now Jamie Vardy as he has plenty of space to run into. He sees the run of Cengiz Sundar, waits a bit, then gets it to him, but then it's intercepted by an Inter defender. Getting desperate now, 57 minutes played, they need something. It's Ricardo Pereira as he just has some space to run into, Inter giving him all the... Oh. Okay, here we go again. Uh, let's just connect the controller. Yeah, do your thing. All right. I don't know why this keeps going on. Okay, resume match. Now Cengiz there with the ball as he gets this to Jamie Vardy. Vardy then brings it back to Cengiz there, And it's just Yuri Thielem as he drops it to. And finally, we get ourselves the chance we needed as we equalize here in the San Siro. And there's still plenty of time to get another one if we wanted to. Inter had other ideas though. It's Phil Foden in the midfield, but he's dispossessed by Wolfer and Didi's giant foot. And now he gets the ball back, passes it to Jamie Vardy. Vardy back pass to Yuri Thielmans, a great little find to Cengiz Sundar on the edge of the box, who then turns Kukarela, passing it back to Yuri Thielmans. Thielmans finds Wolfer and D, a great little spot out to Jamie Vardy, and it's blocked by the defender. Now a throw in in the 69th minute as Cengiz Sundar gets it to Jamie Vardy, sees the run of James Madison, and Madison finds the back of the net to turn this one around for Leicester City. It is indeed the James Madison show. Inter now in trouble as they know Leicester City have two away goals to their name. It's Eriksen to Adam Bauer and now Inter needs something quick. Adam Bari passes this one to Jonathan David. Jonathan David gets easily covered by Wolfram and Didi. Then he finds Eriksen. Now to Foden. Foden has a shot, but it's blocked. Now it's a defender passing it to Minamino. That one is intercepted. Cucurella now on the ball, but he's dispossessed, and it's finally cleared out. And luckily enough, we escape here with a 2-1 win. It wasn't the cleanest of victories, but I'll 100% take it. Followed by that match... Chelsea. Early opportunity for Leicester City. It's James Madison, the man of the episode. He brings this to Yuri Thielmans. Now Cengiz Sundar on this right wing. Then he brings it to Jamie Vardy. Vardy back past the Wolfram and Didi, linking up with Yuri Thielmans. Thielmans finds a lovely through ball to Jamie Vardy, and that's a top left corner finish for Jamie Vardy. 1-0 to Leicester City, just like that. But then... <coughs> <coughs>
Luckily, we did get one back through Chengis Un there, but again, we bottle and drop more points. Our rivals at home, Nottingham Forest. Four minutes into this one, Leicester City already on the attack. It's Alexander Izak, now to Daniel Potence. Leicester City just dancing around in Nottingham Forest box, and now it's Pedrosa. Great find to Dennis Pratt. He curls that one into the net. 1 0 to Leicester City, just like that. 15 minutes into this one, it's Carvalho leading this attack for Nottingham Forest, though. A great pass to Sanabria, an even better one to Fair, and now Fair is just going to finish that one. Bottom left corner, one all. But here come Leicester City again. It's Chowdhury out to Dennis Pratt. Pratt then sees the run of Takumi Minamino, and Minamino, a fantastic finish, takes it on the left, finishes it on the right. Beautiful way to get that goal, and we're back in the lead. But Leicester City weren't done just yet. A good little tackle by Fofana, and now Daniel Potence has the ball. He's pushed off a little bit, but then he brings it to James Glover. Now to Dennis Pratt. Pratt sees the run of Takumi Minamino once again, and just curls that one simply into the bottom left corner. And Takumi Minamino has a double. He hasn't necessarily had the best season so far, but he's performing really well this match. And here we find Leicester City just dancing around in the box. It's James Glover. Now to Chowdhury. He passes this one to Dennis Pratt. Pratt spots out Minamino and he's done it! He's done it! I'm An Asian man has scored a hat-trick in this series! It's happened! <clears throat> Anyways, Nottingham Forest on the attack once again. It's Sanabria this time as he gets around two players and then finds the back of the net. 4-2, it's whatever. We're still two goals ahead. But why not make that three? It's Alexander Izak playing the midfield role once again, and he gets it to Dennis Pratt, going on a bit of a solo run himself. Then he just stops, then curls that one, doesn't even have the keeper move, and we get the victory 5-2. A look at the table, and luckily enough, we're only just three points behind Liverpool. There is still very much a chance, but we have to not choke. But before we go into any other league matches, we have Manchester City in the FA Cup. Fun fact, the reigning champions of the FA Cup haven't had a single match in the FA Cup played at King Power Stadium. But hey, if we make it to the final through a stretch of just away matches, then that'll probably improve my legitimacy, right? Eh, probably not. But it's Wolfram and Didi. He gets a great pass to James Madison. Now, Madison brings a lovely ball to Cengiz Sundar. He just destroys this Manchester City defense. It's just opened up and ready to take a beating. And Cengiz Sundar capitalizes on it. 27 minutes in, Leicester City again. And it's just beautiful Leicester football. Just quick little small passes. And now Stupinian is just left all by himself. He's going to whip this one in for Yuri Tielemans on the end of it. 2-0 to Leicester City, and it looks like we'll be advancing to the next round. Pretty simple. But then Manchester started to act like, um, Manchester City, I guess. It's Griezmann. He passes this one to Riyad Mahrez. And now Mahrez brings this one to Semedo on the wing. Crosses this one in for De Bruyne all by himself. And De Bruyne brings one back for Manchester City. And we fast forward all the way to the 81st minute. It's Lucas Hernandez. Now to Pedrosa. And now Pedrosa with plenty of space to just bring a lovely pass to Jamie Vardy. Gets this one down to Yuri Tielemans. And it's just opening up the Manchester City defense again. And it's Yuri Tielemans giving us a double on the lead. 3-1 away from home and yeah this one's sealed or is it Manchester City dispossessing us and now they can start up an attack of their own it's Rodri lobs this one up to Saul now to Adeyemi Adeyemi tries to turn the defender but then he brings it to Saul and Saul just curls that one near post back of the net 3-2 but that would be the end of that match it would be not enough time to get another goal and we advance to the next round of the FA Cup Power,